Having tour, walk through a bunch of tutorials and things, and us just asking questions, and then pinging people on IM and making phone calls to try to understand what the hell is going on with JavaFX. At uh, some point later in the day, a couple hours in, we decided to make a new timer uh, that does the work of counting down 10 minutes for lightning talk. We had started a little bit of a discussion of how, how we want to build it, and then we just jumped into coding and building it. So I sort of split off into the designer role, and Tora and team split off into the coding role, and they started building this thing. Um, I started uh, recording audio for the, the shutdown, uh, started making Photoshop documents for what we wanted the clock to look like and all the different art pieces. And we did have a design discussion at one point where I described some of the elements I was going to want in the design. Um, they ignored those. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we postponed that phase of it. Yeah. <laughs> Two dollars. Uh, we didn't want to sit and wait for three hours while Joe was exploring Photoshop. Yeah. So we were, you know, one of the things we did was we built some custom components. So, you know, we have some buttons here, and I'm stopping the timer. Woo you know, we got some fading, we got drop shadows. We played with effects and variable binding and all that stuff. Um, also, this is full screen, so I can't actually show you. I can't go back and forth while running the timer, so we're timing using this, not an application. Um, so, yeah, so we spent a lot of time, I think, on, the, on just the graphics and learning language and the scene graph. And then we finally did the thing that Joe built. So I guess we'll just spend some time on that. Um, and so he, in Photoshop, built you know, this graphic here, which has a bunch of different layers that he built. Um, and then we wrote some FX code that basically takes these layers and makes them visible and invisible based on what the current time is. So the timer we currently have, uh, which only goes up to five, five minutes, I guess. Five minutes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty so there were There were 60 different layers for the seconds. Yeah, if you, if you look at the counter code here, you know, we're basically just referring to the layers. We had 10, ten images for the left side, too. Yeah, well, the, the right side we didn't exactly optimize. Mm -hmm. um, you can see here's the, here's the timer. Um, and the other thing that we were doing this afternoon was actually doing some perspective transforms on these images. That's not rolled into this version yet, but the idea would be that you would expect the... Wow, oh, it looks really bad on the projector. Yeah, it does. Not as good. If you, like, if you look over here, those of you, you can see it. You guys, are, much better. You guys uh, are familiar with the real live version of these things. They're flip clocks, mm -hmm. where this whole thing's rotating really slowly, and it's got a little finger. So when it gets just to the right time, this thing snaps down. So when I built the Photoshop file, this is a separate piece from this and separate from this little bar. So you're going to do a transform. And actually, there was a bunch of prototype code to do this with just regular text. But take this image with the top part of the numbers on it clipped and transform it down to squeeze to nothing. And then right as that finishes, do the same thing with the new number opening to the bottom. So it looked like it just flipped and snapped. And then we were going to do a layer on top of that, which was a fully transparent layer that had a gradient flash down it very quickly so it looked like a glint of a piece of plastic mm -hmm. you know, moving across. So when that gets done, it'll look physically like a real thing stepping down. And did you also have ease in and ease out? Um, sort of like yeah, maybe, I don't know if there was any ease on it. But you want like a sinusoidal. Yeah, we have a function mm -hmm. in there. Because yeah. I mean, you want to have it sort of go slowly and then faster and faster. Yeah, and then faster yeah. and yeah. faster yeah. And yeah. The end. Actually, I guess in the end, the the it would want to go faster all the way. Yeah, it would no, just, just be slow ease in. and then it would bang. Yeah. Maybe we can do a bounce. Because there is an ease that's a jitter. So the other thing we did with our initial clock, uh, I'm just going to switch the time to be very fast, so we don't have to sit for five minutes on this. I'm going to make it, uh, let's see. I should just cut the time down. I mean, yeah, I'm going to cut it down to one minute. Yeah. One minute and ten seconds. Uh, I'll do the plus here. And I'm going to take out the full screen. Cause it's, well, actually, I'll do the full screen. So we had some fun with audio, playing media, some uh, interpolation of colors. The idea was that, you know, you have the counter app on the iPhone. But that would be cool if the speaker can see the screen. You know, oh, I should start it. And as you get close, you actually get some color cues that you're getting that you're getting close to running out of time. So the way it's set up now, I think when you have one minute left, it's going to start changing the background color from white to yellow. And as you get closer, it's going to be redder and redder. There's going to be some audio feedback to help you get off the stage. Uh, and some more visual effects, I guess. Get your volume crank. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have really loud speakers here. So when we get to zero, everyone has to kind of be 
this thing. There's some fingers right on the table there. <laughs> no amplifier. So we just set up some keyframes, you know, at maximum time, minus one minute, start, you know, go from white, then at 30 seconds yellow, at zero, one seconds left, red, and then, you know, a different animation at, at zero. So the job that watches the screen between the colors, which is the nice. yeah. So you can get the back light, back light glow that tells you. All right, so I eight, listen. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shut up! Wow. <laughs> 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 Who did the sheep noise? <laughs> So basically, this this is the nice version. The previous one had stroke, basically trying to <laughs> induce stress and coma in people. So that's yeah, that's basically what we did. Yeah. So earlier on, for those of you who weren't here, we had the whole team yell "shut up." And I think the Scala team was a little bit worried that day. <laughs> Dick had just started explaining a piece of code that he yeah. just put on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. About two lines into it, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> It's all about the timing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So who's next? 